Naraya was very special. She was a very happy and joyful child. Everyone who came close to her was infected with joy. She was very special. When Nayara was born, I presented her on the altar. I was already in the faith, so I knew that God would look after her. Nayara had always been very innocent and pure. She was a blessing. We got on very well, and from when she was very little, she would tell me everything. She would tell me that a friend of hers used to cut herself, but she was also cutting herself. I then started to notice her behavior. She was already becoming sadder and had stopped talking to me like before. I noticed that her behavior was different. She had become very tense. Nervous. When we talked about drugs, she would tell me that her friends used them. But she never admitted to using too. However, I noticed that she hung out more and more with these friends. Sometimes they would come to our house in the evenings and would hang out in the square in front of the house. I noticed that she would come home smiling differently. This was when I realized that she was smoking cannabis. I lost control over Nayara completely because she stopped being honest with me. She stopped telling me things. I said, God, I have lost control over my daughter. I need your help. I then started to make vows for her. There was another solution for her. I needed to use my faith on the altar. I made many vows, many chains of prayer for her. However, there was one decisive vow that I made. When the pastor said, you who have a very difficult situation in your life that you can no longer accept, I went up to the altar and took the envelope. I said, God, my daughter is on the streets and I don't know what to do. Protect my daughter. Look after her. I don't know where she is right now, but I want you to protect her. I place her in your hands. I want you to take away all this anxiety and worry because I don't accept her like this. I was kneeling and when I got up again, it was like a weight had been lifted. I believed in that word, in that vow. And so Nayara died. She died in the baptism pool and returned to the church. Hi, Mom. Hi. This is the new Nayara, the daughter of my vow. When I look at this picture, I remember that I died that day. I was tired of the life that I had, of the drugs, friends, bad influences, which I realized no longer made sense to me. That was why I made that decision. I had missed the church so much. I missed talking to the Lord Jesus. And I missed my mother so much. As everything happened, I distanced myself from her. Though I wanted to be beside her, I was proud. I am the product of my mother's vow. If it weren't for the prayers and purposes, I know that I wouldn't be here today. Because of that vow, from that moment, I made the decision to quit everything. I made a real decision. I sought the Holy Spirit. I decided to leave everything behind, to leave the friendships, the drugs. I made a real decision. The day I received the Holy Spirit was the best day of my life. That day, I found everything in the Lord Jesus that I had been looking for outside. I can say today that my mother and I are friends. I like being with her. I enjoy the moments we spend together, which I didn't before. 
gostava nem de ficar ao lado dela. Today, Nayara is a blessing. She is everything that I dreamt she would be. I see the care she has towards others, the care she has with me, the care she puts into looking after the youth. So Nayara is a blessing. She is the daughter of my vow. Mom, I'd like to thank you because I see today that it was all worth it. If it weren't for your tears, the purposes you made, the prayers, I wouldn't be here today. I am the daughter of your vows.